is up, Chamley? This is Jamiro Fan 2000 with yet another episode of the Jamiro Kwai Minute. All the latest Jamiro Kwai news in less than one minute. So let's get right into it. Today's episode will, of course, will be a roundup episode uh, recapping all the news from the past week, past week and a half of uh, for the week of June 4th here on the Jamiro Fan 2000 YouTube channel. So let's get right into the news. Starting out uh, about a week and change ago, uh, we had uh, the Asian tour. Much like uh, Jamiro Kwai ended up having to cancel their first Casino del Paris gig in Paris. France due to JK's injury that he got while at the venue. Um, they Jamiroquai, because of the severity of JK's back injury, uh, Jamiroquai would ultimately having to uh, cancel their Asian wing of their tour, which would have been two tour dates in Japan and one in South Korea. Uh, JK and the Jamiroquai HQ uh, social media accounts put out uh, uh, statements from JK basically saying they're sorry and that they'll make this up uh, in the future, in future dates because of that. Um, also, what Half. Um, also, we had a bit of a soft release of Jamiroquai's 8th um, Automaton here in the United States, um, and it was very pretty interesting. Um, most of the um, some of the American retailers did get Automaton back into stock, which had been out of stock uh, due to it um, due to a supply supply and demand issue after the album first came out. It sold really well, so uh, Virgin Me Am I and the original release date for Automaton here in the United States was supposed to be a week after their official release, which was March. 31st for the European and Asian market, but they ended up having to delay it from April 7th to what was the week of May 29th, and the album actually came out here in the United States, but um, given the new normal of most retail sales now is to buy online and pick up in the store, um, most of the retailers that picked up Automaton here in the United States, press specifically Target stores, uh, Walmart, and Amazon, uh, it appears that some of these albums were actual imports from Southeast Asia, and I ended up ordering a copy of the American release of Automaton, or at least the soft release of Automaton here in the United States through Walmart, and I did an unboxing video of that of that CD, and so check it out here on the Jamiro Fan 2000 YouTube channel under the unboxings playlist. But uh, it appears that some of the copies of the album that got to Walmart uh, um, as part of the part of the first sales of the album were uh, imported from Malaysia. And uh, my at least my copy and a friend of mine's copy in the West Coast order through Walmart too got Malaysian copies. They couldn't Malaysian or Russians, one of those two. But um, I did check some of the other indie indie store chains, but they got the normal release of Tom Tom through what looks like the UK uh, import or what have you. And uh, yeah, it was it was an interesting release for Automaton here in the United States. But hey, it came out, so you know, hopefully, given next, given maybe in 2018, which Jamiroquai actually comes in tours, maybe Latin South America and the United States, we'll get a more proper release of Automaton, or at least a reissue by that time. Um, also, uh, also here on the channel, also here on the channel, I did a I, I did a video talking about the upcoming. Very, very busy tour schedule, the midsummer tour schedule for the Automaton Tour, which um, as of late looks like it's back on track. Um, I did a video talking about the tour dates coming up in June, July, and August, which will be the three months of the most busy time for Jamiroquai's festival touring for the Automaton Tour. So be sure to check out that video on the here on my channel, or uh, go over to the Funkinsight.com, click on the portion of the site called live and they'll have that that live portion has all the tour information for the upcoming uh, summer tour and of course fall tour when they come back to the UK um, yeah and then, and then also this week also this week we got the first indications Frankly, we got three days of, imp of indications that the third Jamiroquai music video from Automaton is currently was currently in production about two weeks ago, into this middle of this week, and uh, we do not know what single will be the third. Uh, third single or third music video from Automaton, but we got some killer pictures of a black and white soundstage, smoke machines, lasers, and the third production picture that came out via social media from Jamiroquai HQ did, uh, did hint a little bit with using the words fresh and hot in its description, but what was so telling about this third production picture, it was a girl with a, looks like a modified version of JK's Automaton hat on a dance floor with red lighting. So, but 
we we're still we're still a bit kerfuffled what the third single will be. Could it be super fresh? Could it be hot property? Given that these two songs have primarily been hinted and bearing in mind, uh, J.K. back from the Universal Music track by track when he was talking about Automaton track by track when the portion he of super fresh, he did imagine that given super fresh is a bit of a companion track to the title track Automaton, he did imagine the super fresh music video would be him in a club with Android girls. And we see an Android, Android, excuse me, Android girl, Android, Android girl, God, what is wrong with my English? Android girl in this dance floor, so who knows? Uh, hopefully we will get a little bit of more information or we'll actually get the music video coming out in the next few weeks. I expect to see the music video make its debut on YouTube and everywhere else in the next two weeks at least. Because, uh, And then also uh, later this week uh, what happened is Jamiroquai made a live return. Um, JK after taking a, a, a good month off uh, from the uh, injury he succumbed to uh, back, in a, back in April or I should say May uh, JK took it easy. He got um, he looks fit in film, and then uh, what happened is a few day about I say about a day to two days ago, uh, pictures from social media started showing up from uh, Astana, Kazakhstan. Uh, JK and the band went to Kazakhstan and played a private gig at the Carl uh, at the Ritz Carlton in Astana, Ka Kazakhstan. And then what happened is fans that went to that gig, and this was very much like the same gig that Jamiroquai played uh, back um, back in March. Back in, back in February and March, when they were still uncertain what, what record label they were on, when they went to the Swiss Alps and played a few private gigs, they pretty much did the same thing here at the Ritz-Carlton in Kazakhstan. They played um, their several uh, Instagram videos and pictures from the gig. Uh, JK looked back to him, his usual self, but he's a little less active on the stage due to his back injury, so JK was kind of truncated on his performance for this greatest hit set list, you might say, because most of the songs that they perform in the Kazakhstan in these Instagram videos were greatest hits, like Cosmic Girl, Love Philosophy, so it wasn't a full-fledged Jamiroquai gig, it was just a, a private gig. But uh, JK sounded great, the band sounded great, but JK was not super mobile and nimble as it usually is during a live performance, but that's to be expected because of what JK probably had to rehab back from his severe injury that he got. But um, yeah, and the new music video hopefully will be coming, as I said, in the next two weeks. But uh, yeah, Jamiroquai is back and ready to go back on tour, and of course their first tour date will be them playing that rescheduled June 12th date at the Casino del Paris in Paris, France. I, of course, will be covering to the best of my ability and all the upcoming uh, tour dates from June, July in August, so keep your eyes here on the Jamira Fan 2000 YouTube channel for um, Jamira Quiet Minutes and Jamira Fan Talks About Episodes um, as they as news becomes progressive about these gigs, so you can check out live pictures, live videos, and what becomes available from these gigs. And I have a strong, strong feeling that the residency by Jamira Quiet in June 23rd and 24th at the O2 Arena will be recorded for a potential live album, live CD release, so I will let you more know more when I know more about that, if that that is actually a certainty. And uh, yeah, that is about all the news for right now. Um, on a non Jamiroquai note, uh, I mu I, I'd like to uh, say um, I reached two, or I should say all the Jamiroquai related stuff that I do, reached two milestones during this past week. My Jamirofan2000 YouTube channel hit 300 subscribers about a week ago, and I thank everybody, I thank everybody in Odd Nauseam about for coming to the channel, checking out the videos, and subbing the channel, enjoying all the videos that I've been doing, all the series I've been doing. Um, I also, uh, also the Jamiroquai subreddit, which I lovingly moderate with a bunch of great fans who continue to contribute there and just make it a great place for Jamiroquai fans to hang out. The Jamiroquai subreddit hit 700, 700 live, uh, live subs this past week, too. So thank you to everyone who comes by the Jamiroquai subreddit and checks it out to get their latest news, to talk to other fans, to check out the polls, all types of Jamiroquai related stuff. Though. Thank you, everybody. So that's about it for this week. Uh, links to everything that I discussed in this roundup uh, episode of the Jamiroquai Minute, as always, is in the description of this video down below. So if you missed any type of news during the past week of Jamiroquai um, and Automaton, check it all out down there. 
and uh, stay informed. Um, and of course, I have two concurrent series running right now on the Jamera Kwai, oh, I'm sorry, the Jamera Fan 2000 YouTube channel. Of course, my um, favorite modern funk albums um, series is still running, and of course, um, I, I recorded a few new episodes for my Jamero's collection series where I'm showing off select pieces from my Jamera Kwai collection. So keep your eyes on that because I've got a few absolutely beautiful promos to show in that. So those, oh, those two series will have new episodes respectively uploaded every other other day so keep it that's my schedule for right now so uh yeah that's it for right now um i'll hopefully have some more news coming up in the next week because next week of course as i previously reported um should be noted uh hmv stores in the uk will be doing a special uh vinyl special event where um where i reported back uh, back a few weeks ago that uh the jamaic y the jamaic y hq twitter account had retweeted uh hmv's uh, advert for vinyl a week so that could be an indicator that maybe next week starting on june 5th which would be monday uh jamiroquai might actually jamiroquai and virgin mi might be releasing something special re automaton release wise for this uh vinyl holiday and if i find out more information about what it is i'll be sure to pass it on to you in a jamiroquai minute given up this week so that's it for right now i'll see you again really soon with another jamiroquai minute have a great weekend and see you all soon